I carved this pine panel uh, not so long ago, um, but I want to stain it and polish it. Uh, now it's in redwood and redwood doesn't stain very well. But I've actually just been doing this dial clock which has a pine back box and this little door is missing. So I made that in redwood and I've got the colour quite well on that. Um, it does match. I'd repolish this as well but uh, I've got them to look the same. So what I'm going to do is if I can replicate what I did to that door on the carved panel. I've mixed up um, some Van Dyke crystals. Uh, it's quite a weak wash. Uh, that's the colour it's going to end up. So I shall brush that onto here and see what it looks like. Right, so it looks a lot better now it's dry. Uh, I did sand it down a little bit um, before I stained it just to give it a bit of a key. I've not taken the tool marks out, I've just like given it a light sanding. Uh, so the next thing I'll do is mix up some button polish uh, and a bit of mess in there to thin it down. And I'm going to add some um, walnut spirit stain. I'm also going to put a little bit of um, mahogany in. Give it a bit more red. So you can see it's a lot darker now. Uh, there's quite a lot of red in there, but I'll just do it on this test piece. It's not too bad, that's just an orange undercoat before I start adding um, the pigments. It's still not going to look very good, but um, hopefully, oh, you can see there, some of the colours not dissolved properly. Try and wash that out. Give it a bit longer. Right, give it a bit longer, so I'll try again. Uh, normally, when I mix them up, I um, I mix the dyes into just meths, and you can see then whether it's dissolved or not. You can see the colours in the in the stains as well, see which colours are in there. Um, and it probably dissolves a bit quicker. And then I add the uh, button polish afterwards, but as I've mixed them together previously, uh, it's just taken a little bit longer. So I'll have another go. Now, I've given it a couple of coats. Um, it's looking a little bit better. But next I'm going to mix in some burnt umber. It's just a pigment. And some vegetable black. And this will obliterate a lot of that, hopefully. So that's the first coat on. Um, I'll give it another coat, I'll let that dry first uh, and then I'll add probably more pigment and try and improve it a bit more. It's had a few coats now, um, it's looking a little bit better but it's still uh, not great. Uh, I'll let that harden off now uh, and then start adding, I'll mix up some more polish and um, 
add some more pigment, get it a bit darker and uh, a few coats of that on and see see where we end up. Right, it's a lot darker than I wanted it to be at this stage but uh, I'll persevere and, and see what happens. So I've mixed a load of uh, vegetable black into this polish and uh, see what happens. Uh, it's a lot darker than I wanted it to be. Uh, I knew it would do, but uh, I'm just experimenting a bit. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash it down with maths, remove a lot of the polish and see what it looks like. Now it's still looking quite poor, so what I'm going to do is apply um, some polish with uh, walnut and mahogany stain in it. See what that does. I can see it's not working. It's not going to do what I want it to do. Uh, I think. I think it needs sanding down and starting again. I've had a couple of goes at this now, so I've stripped it again, I've sanded it, and I've even bleached it to try and get it as light as possible. And I'm just going to put button polish on just to see what we start with, and then I'll add any colour afterwards. So I'll give it a couple of coats of this, then I'll mix some colour in with the polish and see if I can get a better finish. I'm just going to apply a few coats of coloured polish. It's had uh, three or four coats on now. Uh, it doesn't look too bad, so it's quite rough uh, because of the pigment that's in there. Uh, so I'll cut it back with wire wool and um, see what I'm left with. I think that's as good as I'm going to get it. Um, what I'll do now is wax it.
well, that's as good as I'm going to get it. Uh, it's not too bad. It's a bit shiny. Uh, like I say, pine is really difficult to polish and stain. Uh, so it's easier to just make that in oak and polish that. You get a better colour. Much easier, much quicker to do as well. It'd be easier to carve. Uh, I decided it was a bit too shiny, so I've just knocked it back a little bit with some uh, fine wire wool. 